Saskatchewan, where you can no longer say there's not a lot going on. Corner gas isn't just a hit. It's a phenomenon that's affected communities and people across the country. Want me to fill it up? Sure. Because of corner gas, she opened a coffee shop. God bless you, man. He traveled to Saskatchewan. Ow. He moved there. Jackass. And they fell in love. I don't know what that means. It's the end of April and the beginning of the third season. This week has been completely crazy, and it always is completely crazy. This period of time is, I, I if my analogy is that we're, um, we're setting up the circus. It's, it's like a circus. You start with nothing, and then in, you know, about two weeks, three weeks, all of a sudden you've got from nothing to 150 people running around, trucks, cars, carpenters. It's a crazy time. You're right, Oscar. It looks contrived. It is contrived. We all contrived it together. You remember? We need something that it slow down cards, but somehow look more natural. Like what? A pothole? <laughs> of course, a pothole. Maybe later we can build a wall so I can bang my head against it. <laughs> April isn't just a beginning for the Corner Gas production team. Okay, we're going to have seating all through here and in front of the window. It's the start of a great adventure for Carrie Charlton. I have all of Corner Gas's merchandise, which just got sent out by Canada Post yesterday, so I'm really excited about that. Carrie grew up in Rolo, Saskatchewan, a quiet town of 420 people about 40 minutes from Regina, though it's better known as the fictional town of Dog River. Well, my husband and I went out for a walk last summer and we went to the, to the set because we hadn't been by there yet. So then uh, I got talking to the security guard afterwards and he said uh, that there had been over like 1,500 people in two months saying that they had just stopped by to uh, look at the film set. Good. So then we continued our walk and I said, well, this is just crazy. We need to have something available for these people to stop, sit ask some questions so then this place came up and it was perfect because it's the police department so why don't you come on out so we can talk about this that's the dog river no. police department stinky rollo and dog river are having a lot of fun with each other hey oscar what can i do you for liquor or insurance even dog river's liquor and insurance store was inspired by the real thing in rollo uh, as a small town, you have to do quite a few things to keep everything going. So we have a good selection of greeting cards and uh, other paraphernalia. Our insurance office is, is down this way in our motor license issuing. And then over here we have a, a limited supply of uh, spirits for the community to purchase. And the, uh, the town have gone out and made some souvenirs. It's put a real buzz to the town, and, and uh, I think the town people really enjoy it myself. There are some that, that are negative and uh, feel that if they have to go around to pick up their mail a different direction because some of the streets are blocked off, uh, uh, that's a hardship for them. But, you know, that's just because uh, uh, they don't want to change type of thing. But, yeah, it's been good for the town. Carrie has only a few weeks to get her coffee shop ready for the summer and become the town's Lacey. It's just been really overwhelming. And it's good, it's good because it's kept me motivated to get this place up and running. In fact, the other day, two greyhounds pulled up. And I looked at them and went, oh my, like, I need to get this place open quick because I wasn't expecting the tourism to start coming through in May when it was still a little chilly and stuff. 
1,002, 1,003, 1,004. In Rolo, Carrie isn't the only person whose life has been changed by corner gas. Uh-oh, he's stopping. Maggie Bertram is the security guard and unofficial tour guide for the corner gas set in Rolo. Well, basically, my job is supposed to be just keep people away from the vehicles, keep an eye on the building. Okay. Yeah. Have a good one, you guys. But Bye -bye. I go talk to everybody, oh, and yeah. I will ham up Rolo and promote the community quite well. Uh, give people as much information as possible. We Thank have a you. guest book. Would you mind signing it for us? Not at all. And then there was some s smart cracks made, you know, that all I do is sit here and just, well, you've got nothing to watch. You've got an bil empty building to look at until we get everything set up. And I says, no, I don't. There's people stopping. Oh, there's just a few, just a few. I said, no, okay, I'll show you just a few. Hello, Hello sir. How are you oh, pretty good. Welcome to Dog River. Thank you. We have a guest book, would you mind? And it took me six weeks to get about 3,000 names, and away I went. A lot of people out here lately? Oh, yes. We get usually about 100 a day. 100 a day. Yeah. yeah. After that, it's okay. You're getting shirts. You're going to get stickers on your guest books. You're going to get postcards. Is it... Keep going. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sure we will. So we can wander around a little bit? Yes, I uh, just ask that you don't take any photos through the glass of the inside of the set, okay? Okay, okay thank okay. you. Thanks, thank have you. a good day, okay? So the pothole's gonna be right here. I just want it to be clear that it, everybody knows it's a speed bump. I don't want it to look like a, a, like a pile of dirt in the middle no, of the road. No, we have it partially finished. Yeah, but cars have to drive over right. it, right? That's hence the bags. So that there's... It's quite a shock, actually, uh, for it yeah, to have become so popular all across the country. Um, I didn't think that was, you know, Canadians sort of got that hepped up about a television show. And I think it's sort of given people, uh, I don't know, they're more almost pleasantly surprised that there's a show that was done here that is good, for lack of a better way of putting it. I'm amazed with the way, you know, some people have embraced this show. I mean, you know, the nation seems to have embraced it really well in, in so much as they kind of, you know, we hear a lot of stories of people making sure that they're at home in time to watch the show and then leaving work specifically so they can get home to watch the show when it comes out and stuff like that. That, that stuff alone blows me away. People aren't just making time for the show. The Corner Gas website is a destination for fans as well. And during season one, the website featured a contest that could win you a piece of land. I was looking at the perfect pump game, and I was just playing the game like anybody else. And, and then he read what he could win, sort of. And as the contest went on, I started to take a little more seriously, like, wait a minute, I could actually win this thing, you know? We got this uh, letter asking if we would donate a lot as a prize and we assumed that it was a joke poking fun at our thought-provoking name and we decided to go along with the joke and donate a lot with an actual tacky house on it making it more humorous we were looking forward to where we were going to retire and when this came up we thought maybe it might turn out to be the little piece of heaven we're looking for you know in far-off Val de Mont, Quebec, winning the contest was more than a hobby for Bob LeBlanc. It was a mission. With pump and gas. All right, smart guy, let's see how good you really are. To win, Bob had to pump gas at a virtual gas station to earn points. But if the cars were overfilled... One day he went 17 hours on it. And I, w I took him his coffee, I took him his meals at the computer. We figure approximately 300 hours. It took him from when he started playing the game Better than 300 to, to finish it. He started using my magic bag because it was too hard on his elbow. Blown <laughs> modems and mice thrown in the garbage. And I'd go to bed and click, 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 click in my sleep. <laughs> That's true. It's got power going to it. That's a good sign. We're getting to it. Coming up, Bob's clicking pays off. And we really didn't expect the winner to actually accept the prize. And it's all aboard the Dog River Express. We're going to be heading out to Dog River within a second here.
Hey, Tom. Hey, don't make me look bad. My dad is watching. I don't advise anybody to play the perfect pump game like I did because I was nightly being haunted by Oscar's voice. Jackass! Even walking down the street during the day, I would hear jackass and things like that associated with the game. And I got to the point where I had to turn off the sound because it was just imprinted on my mind so bad I thought I was going crazy. Jackass! And we just... We didn't follow it too closely. We waited and CTV contacted us as to that someone had won our lot. And we really didn't expect the winner to actually accept the prize. And then we were feeling a little bit bad because the, the prize we had given was so terribly tacky. It's got power going to it. That's a good sign. We're getting to it. In July 2004, Bob and Susan LeBlanc flew from Quebec to Regina, then traveled more than four hours south to Climax, Saskatchewan, to claim their prize. We couldn't believe how friendly and kind, and everybody was coming up, introducing themselves to us. And, and that night after we had been here and met the people and the kids, and we sat in the hotel room and we talked and we said, uh, yeah, that's the place for us. They thought we were nuts and that they couldn't believe that we would just up and leave there and move to a, a yeah, place we had never, we'd only visited for a day. Are you going to carry me over the threshold once it's finished? Pick you up and carry you in? Yes. It was a little house on a little piece of land, but it's ours. Yeah. Mm, decisions, decisions. Brent Butt and Brent Leroy are two very different people. And we can go really back just to... separated by laces. That's the only thing. This is the skirt meeting right now. We're having a skirt meeting. She wanted a skirt. Yeah. I look so amazing in her right name. This is a good little market point. Because the skirt flares out, I'm, uh, it's alarming. I know this much about it. Because of the tape of the cut of the silhouette of the skirt, you're going to end up, the little socks are going to look bobby socksy. Well, I think just, 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 I don't know. Bare feet. Just bare feet, I'm kind of thinking. Or just you're the hidden socks. Yeah. The hidden socks. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, guys. Thanks. All right, then. Thanks, Thank Megan. What a load Excuse off that me. was. <laughs> Another hard day. We did. Hi. Can I get a name? Margaret. 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 In Regina, it's the end of June and a whole group of Corner Gas fans began a journey of their own. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome on the Dog River Express. We're going to be heading out to Dog River within a second here. When she started last summer, Claire Belanger Parker never thought her Corner Gas bus tour would be such a breakaway hit. It was phenomenal. Uh, we had people from Niagara Falls last year, we had people from Victoria, B.C., and we hardly did any publicity at all. We, we had it on the website and people came through, as well as people calling the set found out about the tour. So I think the youngest was seven and the oldest was 93 or something like this. So the, it's, a, it, it's Corner Gas it basically talks and, to everyone the same way. Just yesterday, well, yesterday. Yeah, it's great for the summers. Especially Saskatchewan summer right now. Okay. Now I want a dress. Okay, back Every other character gets like new clothes. All my stuff comes from Valley Village. Maybe last one. Oh. Mm -hmm. Maybe this one. Wait. Yeah, yeah, this That's one. That's better. Welcome to Rolo Dog River. Hands up, hands up. This is the time you get to see where all the magic happens in Corner Gas. So I'm gonna let you loose for about 15 minutes, but you'll have to come back on the bus. Dog River now is on the map. Uh, it may not appear yet on the official highway map, but in the understanding and vocabulary of Saskatchewan, Dog River is now a Saskatchewan community. Okay. Be a little more it has raised the profile of the province um, beyond our borders. There is no doubt in my mind about that. I can travel most anywhere in Canada and there is a question or a comment about corner gas. This wasn't planned, but I think corner gas has made Saskatchewan cool. It's kind of bottled the beauty of this province and the quirky nature of this province and the quirky nature of small town. However, we go. Here's the, no. There, how's that? Whoa. There, like, yeah. Ah. 
hot. Look at that. It's too trendy. It's too, yeah. Is this going to work with those chocolate pants? Oh, yeah. Let's try that. That's good. Happy birthday, lady. <laughs> Even though we're in Dog River, you can still be sexy. <laughs> It's packed really good. And crazy busy, like Carrie Charlton, oh. who will soon open her coffee shop. Those are nice. Has everything been priced? No. We already had our ice cream freezer die on us, and our fridge die. Our hot dog machine's element burnt out. Oh, and our cash register was charging 28% tax for the first couple sales, so we had to figure out a few minor things. Dog or whatever? Yeah. Carrie's not officially open. But she can't keep the customers away. Okay. And, and our strawberry milkshake. Okay. At first, I think a few people thought I was a little crazy. But now that I've got ice cream, everything's smoothed over. Cider, well, that get you drunk. <laughs> I won't get you drunk. Coming up. And a very special person is going to come on board now. The Dog River Express meets Maggie. Hello. And a Corner Gas love story. So it's really nice that we found each other, thanks to Corner Gas. <laughs>
Looks pretty good. We're gonna roll on this, baby. What generation are you, anyways? Is there a name for it? Oscar, you said you were gonna help. I'm changing the sign. There. It's a speed bump now. Coffee break. Welcome to Emma's living room. <laughs> just reminds me of, like, my grandma's house. It could be the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s. We're coming in into the ruby. Please do not touch or remove anything from the set. It seems there's a story for every fan. There's even a corner gas love story. Oh, it was uh, kind of through Kathy, Betty's daughter. The very first time I went on the corner gas uh, chat line, she was the only one in. So her and I had a pretty good chat and got to know each other that way. She mentioned sometime maybe if I'd like to come have a visit and I got there. They had planned to go out for supper and Betty was there with them. And... Sparks started to fly. <laughs> <laughs> so that's actually how the romance started, I guess you'd call it. I rented a U-Haul and moved her to Manitoba. Buck and Betty, along with contest winners Bob and Susan, are now part of a group of close friends who first met up through the chat room on the Corner Gas website. Just made me feel better, you know. It, uh, I lost my wife six years ago, you know, and... Uh, uh, she died two days before our 38th anniversary, so we had a good life together, and then I was pretty lonely. And then when I find this group of people, it's just, everything's changed, and made me made me feel a lot happier, and, and made me feel wanted more than what I was. And my husband passed away nine years ago, so, and we both had good partners, so it's really nice that we found each other, thanks to Corner Gas. <laughs> Back in Climax, Bob and Susan are living the life they wanted. Bob bought the town bar. Hi, how can I help you today? And Susan found a job in the next town at a corner gas station. And every day, they work on their little piece of heaven. I, I can honestly say, all the places I've lived in in Canada, I have to say this is the best place I've ever lived. Yep. Bob and Susan are getting ready for Climax's big Canada Day celebrations. We have 17 people from the Corner Gas website coming this weekend. So, and some have never met anybody. Some have only met a few. So we're really looking forward to all of us getting together. And it's, it's like a, a family reunion. So it's the only way to compare it. It's like a family reunion. You got more tax on you? We are the Corner Gas Gang. We are the but Corner Gas Gang. But it includes gang. anybody that's there now and anybody that comes in. Hello. Coming up, the gang arrives. Great, I'm never going to let go of you. And we meet another very dedicated group of fans. And I watched the show and, and love it and thought, let's call ourselves the River Dogs. Let's go, dogs. Just walk right through the puddles now, we're gonna get wet anyway. It's 7 a.m. in Prescott, Ontario, but it's not the best day for a ball game. This team has been working baseball tournaments all summer long. They're raising money to travel to the Slow Pitch Nationals in Saskatoon and to visit the place they named the team after. So as soon as I heard that we were going to Saskatoon, that, that corner gas was Saskatoon to me. So let's call ourselves the River Dogs. <laughs> there are probably nine, ten of us that are going out early and hopefully do a tour of Rolo and, and down in Regina to the sound stage and do stuff like that. I'd play one softball game and spend the rest of the time at the Ruby. That's what I'd like to do. And there's guys that have said that to me. They said, man, that, that would be cool. So he closed the door. We follow him over to, to meet Oscar and... Uh, right. It just seems to play better. It, it plays better with the door closed. Yeah, that, it doesn't yeah, make sense if the door's not... Yeah, it's a suffocate joke. Okay, lock of traffic. Here we go. 
Action! Thanks for cleaning up the trunk. Just for that, I'll make a special dinner tonight. Hot dog! In Rolo, Carrie Charlton has hit a snag. I just called my baker and nothing is... Nothing has been baked, so I am going to have to find another baker. Her grand opening is tomorrow, along with Rolo's Dog River Day's centennial celebration. I order, and I'm wondering if you guys would be able to provide me with about four dozen cinnamon buns today. Uh, I wouldn't be picky. Great, thanks a lot. Okay, bye-bye. That's great. So we're going in to get three dozen cinnamon buns from the Cathedral Bakery. Okay, we better get going. That was good. Put a five off, take one. Barker? Oh, I'm sorry about everything that happened. Me too. Let's just forget it. Okay. Here's your plate back. Thanks. You didn't wash it. There's one last thing Carrie is waiting for. A little help from the Corner Gas Art Department. That looks really good, you guys. Yeah. Thanks so much for coming out and getting it done before the weekend. It sort of finalized everything. Yeah. This was the first, I think mean, this was the, the exterior design that we had. Oh, cool. For it to hang inside. Yeah. Oh, great. I think it was. Uh... That rocks. It's an actual whack a mole. It's going to be a busy weekend. Uh, okay. I'm just going to try something just because your outline is a bit. 27 hours, take one. And action. Please. Do it again. Come on, double or nothing. Double or nothing what? We're not betting anything. I thought it was just an expression. And cut. Great. The game goes on for Jeff June and the Prescott, Ontario River Dogs. This is their last fundraising tournament before their trip to Saskatchewan. And nothing can dampen their spirits. <laughs> I don't know if I can express myself enough. I, I am so excited about this. And I've been excited from since I knew that we were going out there. I don't know what it's like, but if it's anything like the show, then it, that will be small town Saskatchewan to me, and I'll get a chance to see it. Hey. I think we're overlooking something in this whole tree about it. Hey! <laughs> I think we're overlooking something in this whole tree battle. Tree house! Tree house! Okay. Hey! <laughs> I think we're overlooking something in this whole tree house battle. Yes, the fact that we're not 11. Hey, you guys! Hello! We're better now. And in climax, the gang from the corner gas chat room is beginning to arrive. Oh my goodness. There's. They're coming from a. Ontario and Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba. Hello! Hi, how are you? Yeah. How are you? I'm great. I'm never going to let go of you. Well, how are you? Yes! I'm good. How are you? You know who I am, do you? Muhammad! You betcha. Up next, the Corner Gas Gang aren't the only out of towners making their way to Climax. I hear there's going to be a pie judging contest. I like pie. Yeah. And Dog River Days gets underway. In Rolo, it's finally the morning of Carrie Charlton's grand opening. Oh, I'm feeling pretty good today. It's gonna be really busy. <laughs> come on in. Are you open or? Yeah, come on in. Oh, oh yeah, so uh, we're a block strap away because we're uh -huh. Can you squeeze in under here? Get it on the outside. Outside the stoop, 
Dog River Days are just getting started. Rolo named its centennial celebration in honor of the fictional town. Well, welcome to uh, Dog River, and come on down to the rink and start off uh, the day by uh, having your pancake breakfast at the uh, at the rink. And out of the set, Maggie holds court. They drive right through barricades, pull up to the pumps, stick the nozzle in, and they're squeezing, and it don't work. Like, <laughs> guys, there's no gas there. I'm getting so that I can't go anywhere. I walk into Moose Jaw Superstore, shirt sleeve pulled. Have you got any postcards? Hey, hey, what's going on? When, when are they going to be there? Can we come see them? And, oh, okay. The highlight of the day is the parade, where one float is getting a lot of attention. And so is another. Actors from Corner Gas, we'd like to thank them very much for coming out to ride in the parade. Craziness. It's like, it's like we're like the Beatles now. It's insane. Little lowers, keep them off. No, it's wonderful. I, uh, and it's in a nice way. It's not in a, it's not in a crazy, you know, we're, you know, we're not the Beatles. And, uh, but it's in a, it's in a really kind, appreciative way that uh, the recognition has come about. And, and they're just, everybody here is just so positive about the show and so gracious to us being here and taking over for four months and getting in their way. And you know, they're, it's great. You're very welcome. Thank you. We're going to call you Oscar because we don't know what your name is. You can call me Jackass if you want. Well, it was great to meet you, and I'm very excited. Could you just hug you? Ah. <laughs> Inside the stoop, it's standing room only. It's been really busy. We've just sold a lot of merchandise already. We're already out of all the jackets, and I just finished riding my bike down to the post office to get my shipment, and it never came in. <laughs> How did you know I was coming? <laughs> 1668 altogether, please. 2850, please. A few days later, and four hours away, it's Canada Day in Climax. When I uh, found out Hank was coming, I went into the bar and I said to Bob, guess who's coming? And he said, oh, I don't know. I said, my favorite actor is coming. And he knew right away it was Hank Gumman. Yeah. So I knew before him, so I was really happy. So we're here. Hi, guys. How was the trip? It was awesome. Brad Iwanek, hey, Bob. producer Virginia Thompson, and the Corner Gas Gang. How you doing? Good I to am see so you. glad you can come <laughs> down, buddy. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Man, oh, man, it's great. Pharmacy this is Buck Lesser. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, nice to meet you. Hi, Buck. And this is a lovely... Uh, Hi there. Nice to meet you. Hi. Virginia Cups. Thompson. Hello. Two Hi. Cups is, uh, Betty. Two nice Cups. to meet you, Betty. Nice to meet you. Come on in. And the Corner Gas prize house that made Climax famous. Oh, yeah. Some pros. Sort of. After you, sir. Right, thank you very much. Just this one time for uh, Fred to come down is, is absolutely I'm, I'm hoping we can get a picture of him with everybody that's coming from Corner Gas. That, that would be... That will be priceless. How do you get here before us? Next, it's off to meet Mayor Nancy Kirk and the rest of Climax. Hello, I'm Nancy Hi. Kirk. Nancy, Fred, and nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you. Welcome, and we're so happy you made a visit. Oh, thanks for having me. I'd like to welcome Fred Iwanek, and thank you so much for coming oh, today. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, get up. There you go. No problem. Thank you. We're having a lot of fun with, with the whole 
business of Corner Gas and the attention it's brought us. We're always happy to have people come to our community and we're just really pleased to, to sell our, our town as a good place to visit. From uh, I do in Regina. You guys aren't from here, right? Well, I'm from. Don't they come to visit? Yeah. Thank you, of course. Oh, shucks. You didn't drive out from Ontario. Where are you from? I did. I'm from Hamilton, Ontario. Thank you for coming to climate. Are you serious? I came from Hamilton. Oh, my God. Yeah. On behalf of all the team, the players of the team. We have signed this for you. This is all the people that go on the Corner Gas website. So this is everybody that's here? This is part of our gang. This is everybody that's here and then some. Well, this is the, uh, the our pie baking contest. So, all right. Uh, women 17 and older, women under 17, men 17 and older, men under 17. Pressure. I don't know. Yeah, I don't like it. Okay. This is the best job ever. Oh, that was top notch, that one. What is that, ham? Oh, last pie. I thought you said there was 15. Yeah. <laughs> the chicken's name is Willis. We've sold squares for $2 each at $100, and we're splitting the profit, and wherever the chicken sh wins 100 bucks. All right, make it quick, because i got a four-hour drive ahead of me. <laughs> All right, here we go. Put her in. You bet. There you go, Willie. I don't know, it must be hard, all of us watching. <laughs> Personally, I like a little privacy when I... But, oh well, we signed up for it. Drop it. Come on, Willis. Come on, Willis. Come on, Willis. Come on, Willis. <laughs> Drop it, Willis. Drop it. <laughs> Drop it. Okay, Willis, that's it. I gotta go. I gotta go. I thought we were gonna share something, but I guess not. All right. Okay. I stand here. This is my, my favorite. Oh, stop. And Susan gets that priceless picture. Nope. No. You got it. You got it? Thank you very much for your time. Oh, thank, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did that? We missed it? I knew it. You didn't doubt it. It's evident. Yeah, Willis, good job. Whoever gets crapped on the most is the winner. This is so cool. Up next, the river dogs in Dog River. I gotta suck this all in. I cannot believe this. I don't wanna leave this spot. And a fan gets a cameo. May 1st of 2003, this was nothing but a stack of lumber piled in a hayfield. Hey, Hank, this guy says Saskatchewan is flat. How do you mean? There was no roads, no gravel, no nothing. They had to bring everything in for the show. There's lots to see. There's nothing to block your view. And we're hoping that they just keep on building and keep on going. We want to see if we can blow beachcombers out of the water with the run. See ya. Carrie Charlton's grand opening has been a huge success. It went really well. Between 10 o'clock and noon today, we sold about $1,600 worth of merchandise. So it went really well. And lots of praise, which means most in a small community, having people say, great job. I'm, I'm so glad that somebody did something in town and things are happening. And, there's just so much promise when something like this happens. So that's more rewarding than the cash value of something. You're not in Toronto anymore, Lacey, with your grande mocha dappalopa frappuccino. This is Saskatchewan. Okay, somebody pass me a hammer and a nail. Bob and Susan will continue to build a life in Climax <laughs> with a little help from new friends. I, oh, I do. He promised I that my life would never, ever be dull. I warned And I her. can honestly say it has not been dull. I never know what's coming next. It, one day to the next, with living with Bob, it's, it's an experience. <laughs> <laughs> the word I used was adventure. I said, yes, if you're going to spend your life with me, prepare yourself, because every day will be an adventure. And 
that's exactly what has happened. Yeah. <laughs> what is a river dog anyway? I don't know. Just sounds cool. I mean, who knows what a Bruin is? It's just a word. It doesn't mean anything. Good morning. Hi. You must be the famous Prescott River Dogs. And for an Ontario ball team, a dream is about to come true. Hi, I'm Jason Chabotowski. Hi. Welcome to Saskatchewan. Welcome to the Canada Saskatchewan Production Studios. Oh, thank you very much. This is going to be the greatest. So, this, so this is, is the, the ruby. Ultimate. This is so oh, cool. Yeah. Man. This right here made the trip yeah. worth it to me. Back. It's wild. It's back. Oh, it looks so this real. This is outstanding. Ruby, ruby, man. We're in the ruby. Yeah, just sitting here. I just, I gotta I suck this all in. I cannot <laughs> believe this. I don't want to leave this spot. <laughs> that elevator, that's, that's something else. I don't know. That's an icon to me. Yeah. It's right on your shirt. That's right. That brings it to life. It's a beautiful day in Dog River. Yeah. Quite a town, this Dog River. You want a refill? Yes, yes please. please. And one last customer stops in at the stoop. I've come to meet the competition. Hi, I'm Gabrielle. Really nice Hi. to meet you. You too. <laughs> Guys, oh my gosh, Waka. Waka Prairie Dog. Oh, that is awesome. I don't even remember that. I, I don't remember seeing that before. That's very cool. Yeah, so... It's, and everybody that comes in here and wants to stand beside that sign and get their picture taken. Aw, hey! Can yeah. I have a picture with you? Yeah, sure. I brought my camera. You know, I've uh, never driven across Saskatchewan before. Well, you still haven't, really. About halfway to go yet. Well, I'd just like to say thanks to Corner Gas for letting me meet such a wonderful man. <laughs> Feelings are mutual. <laughs> uh, settle down, please, everybody. Walk it up up there. Yeah. Let's see if we stand closer. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. okay. All right, here we go. Mark. And action. Who threw that? Who threw that? Who threw that? that uh, so I had to ask this. Um, the writing department has asked me if we could try one. We have a fake newspaper here. Okay. Can I see it? Very lightweight. Yes. If we could hit you, yes. could hit you right. in the arm and bounce off, can we That'd be just fine. Shot one That'd time? be just fine. Is that all right? Here we go. And action. Jay. Who threw that? Who threw that? Who threw that? I would have been better off if I let you call a tow truck. Think of this as, a, as an adventure. There's also, I observe, a, a psychological impact. Um, it's great to be part of a success. And the sense of having been part of a success, um, it, it, it reflects in other aspects of uh, community. It encourages people who have a dream to pursue that dream. It can be done. Action. And we're a rectangle, nature's most perfect shape. Good. And maybe uh, in between uh, where a rectangle and nature's most perfect shape, Father Premier, you could just tap them out. All right. Okay, here we go. And, and we're a rectangle. Nature's most perfect shape. And we're a rectangle. Nature's most perfect shape.